Pero, pero shout out sa inyong dalawa. Maraming maraming salamat sa pag-tune in nyo dito sa Wombox Combo. Puyat Lords natin yun, guys. Salamat, salamat. Necropos Mid. Pwede, pwede, kuya, pwede. Pwede rin siya maging carry. So, depende yan kung anong trip ni Papi. So, ito, hinihintay natin yung last ban sa side ng Navi. So, ang kulang na lang ng secret is offlaner. I, hindi, ano, may sand king na pala. So, carry na lang or mid ang kulang nila. <laughs> si Jules, kagigising lang. Pagbukas ng pinto, sinara agad. <laughs> Nalim po nga ito yan ato. Ko Adrian Cabanlit. Yung shoutout sa'yo, kilala mo si... Ano yun, hindi ko alala. Meron kasing kakilala yung friend yung nanay ko, apelido din niya, Kabandit. Pero taga-bataan yun. Taga-bataan ka ba, kuya? Ang hirap naman kasi ng word na yun. Ang hirap nga, kuya. Ang hirap nga, eh. Kabati naman kami ng kapatid ko dito na naman from Union City na si um, Noel. Union City, um, San Francisco, tama ba? Yo, um, noong unang punta ko sa States, natira ako sa Hayward. So, alam ko yan. Nandiyan lahat ng Pilipino. <laughs> is this a replay? No, sir. This is not a replay. This is live. This is live straight up from Womboex Combo. Pero looking at Navi, will be banning Storm Spirit. And sa side naman ng secret is Selena. So, tignan natin kung anong ilan last pick nila dito. They only have 30 seconds left para sa kanilang reserve time. Puro walang ilang pre-pick ng secret. <laughs> Kuya, napansin mo pa yun? <laughs> Wala hindi talaga kayo, no? Mga next level yung mga napapansin nyo, no? <laughs> Wala daw <dong> ilong. <laughs> Ito, isa pa, walang ilong. <laughs> Yes, no, nerd, natawa naman ako doon. Wala nang ilong. Aray ko, babe. Babe, what do I mean? Ewan ko sa inyo. Ewan ko sa inyo. Hello din sa'yo, Alan. Pero, I guess, yung Navi, lahat may, lahat may ilong. Pangunga lang yung kay Nature's Prophet. Ayan. May, may ilong. Ilong versus no ilong. <laughs> Diyos ko po. Eh, kung ano na pinag-uusapan natin dito. Eh, yan ang mapapala ng mga nagpupuyat. <laughs> mga kung ano, ano na yung sinasabi. Pero eh na guys. Kompleto na yung lineup natin for our second game. So, makakakambal kaya ang Navi. Pero syempre, ayaw ni Kuya Alo yan. <laughs> Gusto niya nang manalo agad ang Team Secret. Pero, chill na kayo dyan, guys. Chill na kayo dyan. TA again? Bakit naman? Sabi nga, sabi nga, dadi, guys, malakas yung TA ko. Hindi lang ako, nakapa, hindi lang ako nakasnowball. So, eto, eto ang kanyang second attempt or second try para sa hero na to. Is he gonna be successful or is it gonna be the same thing? Pero mas okay naman na yung matchup niya against this um, Shadow Wind. Kung baga, mas even na yung matchup doon. And also, I heard, a Templar Assassin wins this engagement. Kung baga, yung 1v1, mas, ma, mas pabor kay Shadow Fiend just because yung side blade ni Templar assa Assassin is masakit. And also, um, Shadow Fiend, kita nyo naman Shadow Fiend, without his soul, he's kind of, uh, he's kind of hard to hard time with CS. Wag na kamba. <laughs> Tapusin na para TNC na. <laughs> But either way, you guys are gonna have to wait. Kasi nga, um, siyempre, may makaibang tournament yun. Saka may schedule time din yun at the same time. So, ito na guys. Simula na ng ating second game. Pakilala natin yung lineup natin really quick sa side ng Navi. So, Nico will be playing Ogre Magi, Pycat on Nature's Prophet. And then, din naman on Templar Assassin, Bieber on Keeper of the Light. And General will be playing Bristleback. Sa side naman ng Secret, guys. Poppy with Crystal Maiden. Yapsor on his Sand King. Mid one naman on Shadow Fiend. MP on your Necropost. Tapos naman si Kizu on your Night Stalker. So, offline Night Stalker pala to. And position 4 pa rin. Ito si Sand King. Oh, marami kami kamag-anak sa Bataan. Anong name ng nanay mo? Anna. Anna Belen, kuya. Baka kilala. Anna Belen po. Anna Belen. Talaga, kasi lagi, lagi ko naririnig yung mga kabanlit na yan eh. Lagi ko naririnig yung sinasabi ng mom ko. 
So, parang, parang, parang. You never know, small world, small world na ito. Aling Ana, yung anak niyo po ang ingay dito. <laughs> Bushit kayo. Tapos kapag naman na nahihimik ako dito, sabihin niyo, ay wala na si Ate Ishi. Aling Ana talaga eh, no? <laughs> nagpupuyat pa. Kuya kayo yung nagpupuyat dyan. Alas 5 pa lang ng hapon dito. Ano kayo? The battle begins. So, ayan, mukhang both teams are gonna secure their bounty runes. And looking at sa matchup natin, it is a Nature's Prophet going against dito kay Night Stalker sa bottom lane. Middle matchup naman natin will be Templar Assassin, Ogre Magi versus um, Shadow Fiend. And Crystal Maiden, sa side naman ng, um, sa top lane naman, it will be Keeper of the Lights. Tapos naman si Bristleback going against kay Necrophos. So, andito rin para si Crystal Maid sa gitna. Itatry na yun na naman ng Navi. Eh, ng Team Secret itong gitna. Pero hindi, mukhang mag-out muna si Papi dito for now. Pabati sa maganda at sexy kong GF na si Annie. Grabe naman pala. Shoutout sa'yo, ate. Sigurado ako ba sa mga desisyon mo sa buhay? Diyos ko, Lord. San sa bataan, ate? Is she taga-Orion po ako? Pero maliit lang naman yung bataan eh. Uy, Reggie the Great! Shoutout sa'yo, kuya. Magandang umaga. Ayan, buhay na ang mga taga-lupon natin and mga regular viewers ko. Nandiyan na sila. nag i na siya sa ating chat. Shoutout sa inyo dyan, guys. What up, what up? Eto na. Sa gitna, si Maid One. Diyos colors na black ng konti ng Chris. Pero he's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Medyo kinabahal lang ng konti si Shadow Queen. Pero calculated dyan. Pero si MP popping his stick right away. And General, grabe yung damage niya dito sa lane niya against Necropos. Oh, kaya pala nila pinipick itong si Necropos kasi it is against a Bristleback. Masakit itong kanyang Heartstopper, kumbaga, kasi percentage yan, fam, percentage yan, tinatanggal niyan kay Bristleback. And it doesn't trigger yung kanyang um, Quill Spray, yung um, tawag dito, yung passive damage niya, which is yung Bristleback nga. Bristleback pala tawag dun sa passive ni Bristleback. Nulit! <laughs> Saan sa batan? Tapos ano number mo? <laughs> Just ko learn. Pero to, looking at last hits, nangunguna dito si um, Nature's Prophet with 10 and 6. So si Night Stalker naman with 7 and 0. So I guess an, as, as an offlaner, medyo okay naman yung trade-off nila doon. And he's still getting some decent farm. Pero ito na yung Baro Shrive coming from Yabsor. Pero medyo makuna dito si Suneko with his Ogre Macho. And also then he's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Pero medyo nagmamaas yung meta si Sand King na ang konti. Oh, another profit ko na. Pero... Pero, pero, ito na yung Borrow Shrek and napakadaming creeps din. They might be underestimating itong damage ni Mid. One, one more right-click damage. Pero hindi na nakapagtago pa sa puno or nakapag-fog of war pa itong dalawang um, hero. So, they're gonna be A-OK -okay, and wala pa naman tayong first blood. <laughs> Kapalid ng nanay mo si Janice at si Jerry de Belen. Ah, hindi kuya eh. Hindi yata. I don't think so. Sa, hindi, um, hindi kami ganun kayaman eh, so I don't think so, kuya eh. <laughs> Poor lang kami sa Pilipinas, so I don't, no, I don't think so. Ano, at issue, ano oras po ikakas yung Galaxy? After this, after this, kuya, after this, pero meron, 10.40 pa ba, kuya, lo? Ano ba sabi mo, or 11? Pero sa top matchup naman, 8 and 2 dito si Necropos compared sa 15 and 5 ni Bristleback. So sa top matchup natin, lumalamang ng bahagya itong um, Radiant side, kumbaga. 10-15 ang nakalagay. Ayan, guys. 10-15 for TNT versus Infamous, which will be the next series after nito. So, yeah. But it looks like Suneko will be securing this um, <clears throat> regeneration in the bottom lane and Pyke Oh, it's nerf, 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 it's nerf,
teleportation ni Nature's Prophet. Kapag level 4 yata or with his talent ba yun? With his ta ta talent niya ba yun? Remove, eto na nga, sa level 25 talent niya, removed the teleportation cooldown to school lords. Kung aabot ng level 25, ang tanong. So, wala pa tayong first blood for now. Medyo nag, um, nag we play safe ang both teams natin. And they don't want to give any lead. Kung kang kanina man, pero mukhang nag-rotate na dito si Yapsor. Spotting yung position ni Pygat. Ito na yung Borrow Strike. Up, right-click damage. Ito na yung Nook damage coming from Kizu. Will this be enough? Pero napagandang Rusma. Pero of course, meron siyang QB to deny yung um, Nature's... Sprout. Sprout. Well, Nature's Squad pala yung ano niya. First kill. But yeah. Nicely done sa side ng Navi, securing a first blood at dito sa safe lane ng Raiden. Sa top lane naman, binibigyan naman nila dito si Bristle back, pero it's gonna take the whole village para i-take down nila itong si General. Pero medyo masakit, ito na nga yung sinasabi ko, another quill prep, pero meron siyang heal. And I think that will be enough to secure yung kill dito kay General on Bristle back. And they are just taking kills heavy here and there. Kita niyo naman, Yapsor sa bottom line, Matic TP again sa top lane, pero Davi, it's time for them to put some skills sa kanilang scoreboard. Pero hindi sila aabot, medyo mabilis yung movement speed ni mid one, and they're gonna give up with that chase. So, 0-3 ang score natin dito, 6 minutes into our game. Hanggang level 10 lang yan. Grabe naman, kuya. Grabe ka naman pala. So, hindi ko alam kung saan naganap yung isa pang kill, pero... Uh, Sino na ako na isang kill? Pero wait lang, meron tayong stun plus ignite coming from the bottom line. Pero si Kizu medyo makuna, especially night time pa siya. So, he has the movement speed advantage. So, I don't think that will be a kill sa side ng Navi. Pero si Dendi, at least mas okay na ang kanyang middle lane compared kanina. Kanina sobrang nabugbog siya na husto. Pero this time, you know... Medyo nakakambak siya na ng konti and kumbaga kanina nakuha agad yung tier 1 tower niya so nawalan siya agad siya ng middle lane pero this time I guess Navi is a little bit you know doing better compared sa first game kanina. Rerun lang to eh. Yung schoolers nandito ako oh, kuya live na live ako. Upper bracket na to ng day 2 ng summit guys. Pero eto na, si Jizo on the top lane. Binigyan pa siya ng mana. Pero si Sunego, I don't think he's gonna survive with this damage. Pero napagang illuminate. Pero the Reaper Scythe nandun na. Tiishin na dito na si Mid-1 on your shadow pin. Si Sunego trying to juke in and out. But of course, makukuha pa rin ng Navi of Guild on si Pai. Can even try to help out his team. Pero looks like siya na ngayon ang chinichase dito ng Team Secret. Tignan natin kung makapagtago ba siya. Eto na, Jules Colors. May pera ng Poros Strike. And that will cancel the teleportation and easy peasy na naman yan para sa side ng Team Secret. Medyo natutuwa na si Kuya Alo. <laughs> ayos to, ayos to. <laughs> yeah, isa nga to sa mga hero that um, it's really good then Kung maga sa 1v1 matchup dahil nga doon sa kanyang Heartstopper aura. Kasi percentage to ng kanyang health and it doesn't trigger yung bristleback nga or yung passive netong si BB. So, so far, lahat ng uh, movement ng Navi is always nakaka-counter ng Team Secret. Napag napaganda ng synergy nila as a team and also yung respond din nila or yung rotation nila sa mapa. So, ito na, nagja-jungle na ngayon si General and also si Keeper of the Light trying to make something happen. Pero, ito na, nag-night time na ang kuya mo and Sune, ay Sune ko tuloy. Si Kizu, tingnan natin, mag-TP out. Wala silang pangkan, silang kunat. Pahali na it's over. And I guess, it was a bailout. So, nothing really happened. Um, walang pressure or kumbaga na argabiado with that engagement though si Kizu had to pop his ultimate pero I think he kind of did that on purpose para mas mahaba nga naman yung night time on their end natural wilder pa naman si SF 
pangontra kay Bertha Baquest. That's actually true. Pero kita mo naman, mukhang hindi na kailangan ng secret. And also, I think, secret, kailangan din nilang i-keep in mind na kahit na lumalamang sila sa laning phase, meron pa rin silang comeback potential. Speaking of comeback, yeah, absurd. Pero hindi nila nabubursh, Juice Coolers. Nakakita na natin everybody on the side of secret is here and now Nabi is on the run. na turn around pa yung engagement sa gitna and instead, nakasecure pa ng kill itong dire side natin, securing itong si Ogre Magi. So 10 minutes into the game and Navi, kahit anong gawin nila, lahat silang nakaka-counter with um, respond or TP sa side ng um, Dire. So eto na, medyo pumuposition na sila on the top lane pero I think they're not contesting or pressuring or gonna pursue to any pick off kasi nga alam nila that Navi or that alam ng Navi that Secret has been doing a great job responding sa mga pick offs and damage coming from the Radiant side. So ito na yung dalawang support ng Navi. Naglagay na rin sila ng sentry wards detecting kung meron bang vision. Pero kita nyo naman guys, ito na. Tignan natin. O oh, napakagandang star with illuminate follow up. Pero ito na yung spur out. Pero wala silang pang counter. Ito na naman yung borrow strike coming from na reaper side pa itong si Potol. And instead, Team Secret, another responding with a kill. Pero I guess... Um, they had to commit five heroes para sa rotation na yon, and that gives space para naman kay Deli dito sa mid lane. So, si Temper Assassin pala sa si Brizzleback, parehong nag-take ng Ancient. So, kailangan pala nila maghati doon. Ang tanong, kung sino mas papariority sa farm? Si Dendi ba? O si Brizzleback? Eto na naman, Juice Color, June Darkness, coming from Kizu. Tignan natin kung saan siya pupunta. Medyo galit na galit ang kuya mo. Si Kotol, Keeper of the Light. Kotol. <laughs> hindi yung ano, hindi yung pangpatay ng lamok or pangpaalis ng lamok. Katol yun, katol yun. So I guess si Dendi ang magsisecure and mas ma-prioritize ng farm pero I think na ispatan nila na ito nga nagtitake. Ito na si Dendi pero automatic nag-pop na siya na kanyang refraction and double damage will easily secure para kay Kizu. Nandito na rin si General and of course na ispatan nila guys may ward dito. There's no reason for him to not siege yung high ground. Kung ala silang ward, di ba nga? Pero ito na si Beaver on Keeper of the Life. Hindi pa siya. Ito na nga yung Blast. Plus, meron na rin palang. Um, ito na yung Reaper sa Jukes Gullers. May, oh, may Lotus. Lotus Orb tuloy. Um, Road of Atos na agad. Itong si Necropos. Grabe naman pala this guy. Napakahirap patayin ito si Necropos mamaya. And he will be going for... Mechanism pa sa susunod. Saka Guardian Dreams yata. Looks like. Yo, Kuya Sueso, good morning, good morning. Sulit na sulit ang river size. Oo nga, just colors. Mga magpe-Facebook muna si Keeper of the Light. And to 13 minutes into the game, and Nab has no comeback sa pressure na binibigay ng Team Secret. Um, looking at Nethworth din, lamang din si Shadowpin with 6,100. Susunod naman si Dendi with 53. So kahit na nabigyan na sobrang daming space si Dendi, mas marami pa rin na si secure na kill and farm itong secret just because um, mas marami silang teamfight na ipanalo. Kumbaga, eto na si Papi may ispata na nagja-juggle by himself and napaka ng Fire Blast to Blink Dagger Meld itong si Dendi and nakasecure na sila finally with that kill. Eto na, tignan natin kung this may be the time para sa Navi ang uh, mag-pressure naman sa towers ng Team Secret without a Crystal Maiden. Pero eto na si Yapsor, nagtatago sa puno. Napakaganda namang hiding spot yon para sa kanya. Tumaob yung kabayo ni Kutol kanina, no? Di ba singer yon si James Free? Ay. Ano pala yun? <clears throat> Pero ito, 14 minutes into the game and medyo 
Suerte si Dendi picking up a haste rune. And ito pala si mid one already with his shadow blade. Ito na yung ultimate. Tignan natin, will that be enough? Pero wait lang, meron pa siyang bridge and back. Pero grabe yung nook damage. Andito na yung rod of Atos and... Napagan ng blinding light pero still maawo pa din na si Ogre Magia at hindi na kinumit yung Reaper side don para nga sa support or kaiso niko. So two eleven ang score natin dito and Team Team Secret is now pressuring itong tier two tower sa baba ng Navi. So Navi still farming. So leaning para napakabagal ng face ng Navi compared sa Team Secret that they're always fighting, they're always looking for pickups and the Navi they're just trying to farm and create some space. Actually, actually, um, medyo, I don't know, it might be a little bit greedy sa side ng na, um, yung pick, yung pick nila with this Temper Assassin sa kay Brizzleback. Then, lalo na hindi pa naging maganda itong lane nga ni Dendi or ni Brizzleback sa top lane. And, and NP, I don't know, I don't know exactly what the thought behind this is. Siguro akala nila with this Keeper of the Light and Brizzleback, they're gonna do a lot of pressure sa lane or sa top lane, but the thing is they didn't. And instead, Secret pressured itong bottom lane, saka yung mid lane. They didn't care as much sa farm dito ni Necropos. And also, just one TP lang, or one rotation lang from Yapsor, and they completely changed the scenario. So, ito, Nabi, instead, they're gonna try to trade off, pero hindi pa rin. Ito na, nag-TP na sa gitna. I believe si Templar Assassin, pero si Keeper of the Light pala yun. Pero ito na, namanalik. Plus, napaka ng blinding knife from the backside naman si Dendi trying to deal some damage. Pero kita nyo naman with the stake charges. Bumalik agad yung boy ito ni MP. And ito na, yung Sprout coming from Pycap naman. And then si MP is still alive, pero back mail damage naman coming from na um, from Navi or Dendi was enough. And ito na, two man borrow strike and looks like Ogre Mage will, will fall down. Napagandang race naman pala coming from this mid one and he is already on a mega kill streak. So, looking at that engagement, syempre lumamang yung Navi doon. They did secure 679 gold and 1100 naman sa experience. So, that is a carry for a support and a denied tier 1 tower. So, finally, something good is happening sa Radiant side. But that still doesn't change the fact that in terms of team net worth, lamang parin yung secret by 5k and sa experience naman ah 4k ang lamang ng team secret. So kung magtutuli tuli to kung malagis na malan sa traders, maybe they could turn around the situation. Pero yun nga um they need ah panilang is secure para to na yung borrow strike plus that rekim pro and Dendi is gone. Nag-melt siya doon sa damage or sa bombo combo dito ni SF Plus ni Sandy. Sa mid lane, si Yapsor, Juice Coolers. Eto na yung Rod of Atos pero napaka ng blind din. Like counter initiation from Keeper of the Light. Pero with that Reaper side, hindi na mabubuhay si Suneko dito on your Ogre Magi. This is a really tough matchup. And ito na nga sinisimula na ni Mid-1 ang pag-take ng Aegis of Immortal. Then they will be up in 15 seconds. And meron na rin palang trap sa loob ng pit. So alam ng, ng Navi that this is happening sa side ng Secret. So nandito na nga si General. Napaka ng blinding life. Um, pushing back itong heroes ng Team Secret. So I think that will have to delay. Pero eto na si Bissell back yung color. Biglang nawala. May silver edge na pala itong si Mid-1 on Shadow Pin. So nawala yung kunat nitong si BB. Diyos ko Lord. So mukhang hindi na makokontest pa ng Navi itong Aegis of Immortal and easily para kay Shadow Pin. So with this Aegis of Immortal, kayang-kaya nila um, i-clean up yung outer towers ng Navi. So, since alam nga nila na wala ng tier 2 tower sa baba, grabe, medyo nagmamadali yata yung team secret. Um, ayaw na nila, di na nila kukunin yung outer towers. And instead, baka mag-siege pa sila ng high ground. Tignan natin if that will be the case. Pero napaka-agree din naman nun. Pero hindi yata. Tignan natin kung anong balak nila. Pero Nabi is making sure na napinupush nila itong top lane. Since meron pa nga silang tier 1 tower sa taas. And also, a tier 2 tower din sa gitna.
So, 19 minutes into the game and nakasmoke na right away itong secret. Ito na, nabiligyan na rin nila yung darkness. And ito na nga, sinasa po ang igugo na nila. Itong tier 3 tower sa baba, kitang-kita mo naman. They are rotating you sa bottom lane. Pero si Bieber with that silver edge. Pero napaganda naman with that um, blinding light. So, nag-miss pa. Itong last right-click damage coming from keep um, from Shadow Paint that might have ended yung buhay doon ni Keeper of the Light. Ito na si Suneko, yung Road of Atom, Juice Gunders na Reaper side pa. Ang guya mo, napakasaklap naman pala. So, I guess, meron pa naman silang magandang pang-clear ng wave, which is itong Illuminate nga, coming from Viva Plus, yung, ayun nga, uh, blinding light din at the same time. May quill spread din si General at the same time. So, tignan natin, will that be enough para masecure nila itong high ground? Pero mukhang nagtitipin na ang secret sa top lane kasi sumakasali sina si NP or nag split push na itong si Pycat sa taas. So, they don't want the trade. A tier 3 for a tier 3, lalo na, na lamang na lamang ang secret ngayon. Pero ito na si mid one, so low fighting itong dalawang heroes ng Nabi and si Kizu arriving on the scenes. Ito na yung silence, and tingnan natin yung makapag-blink out ba ang kuya mo? Two seconds, yes, makapag-blink out siya. So it looks like he's gonna be maybe okay, pero si Kizu providing vision dahil nga sa kanyang bagong skill. And ito na with that silver edge, may barrel strike pa, and they're still trying to look for more. Si Osoneko nandito na naman, kawawa naman itong si Ogre, he is 0-7. Just go learn. This is a really top support para sa game na ito. He just can't do anything. Kung baka he is a walking bloodlust para sa kanyang team. Just go learn. Si Pycat, spirit pushing yun sa bottom lane. Tignan natin. They could, you know, I mean, kung mapapagpatuloy nila itong pag spirit push nila na ito, they could just trade off rocks without defending. Pero ang magaling yung secret, mag-respond sa mga kills eh. Kita nyo naman guys, they, they got 10D. Pero yun nga, si Pai Katam medyo nagiging problema sa side ng secret. Since hindi sila makapag-siege ng tower dahil kailangan nilang i-defend yung mga lane na kayo na bang pinupush ni Nature's Prophet. Ayan guys, uh, 20 minutes into the game, quick item check tayo sa glit. So, sa side ng Navi, uh, si Suneko meron siyang Tranquil Urn, si Pycat meron siyang Face Boots, Shadow Blade, Hand of Midas Drums, si Dendi meron siyang Threads, uh, so Blink Tiger and Akila, si Deeber naman meron siyang Threads, um, looks like meron na rin yata siyang 4 stack, I believe, ayan, may 4 stack na nga si um, Bieber, si General naman on base back meron siyang Threads. Um, five of Insight and Casual Nal Talisman, oh, mag mukhang mag-halberd yata itong si General. Sa side naman ng Secret, si Papi meron siyang Tranquil Boots Drums. Si Yapsor meron siyang... Uh, pero wait lang, si Brazel back with one more right click. Diyos ko, Lurz, na wala ang kuya mo. So, si Yapsor meron siyang Tranquil Boots Blink Dagger and nakabanggard! Si Sun King mo, Diyos ko, Lurz, napakasukunat naman pala nito. Si Mid-1 meron siyang Thread, Silver Edge, and um, Eagle Song, nasa niya din yung Ages of Immortal. Si MP meron siyang Arcane Boots and Road of Atos, pero... Team Secret is not done. At secure pa na si Keeper of the Light. Don't use to learn. Si Kizu meron siyang Solar Crest and Vladimir. Tuan-tuan na si Kuyalo. Tuan-tuan na si Kuyalo. Pero eto na, si Paika to may split push at top lane. Since nandito na rin yung Chris, pero nandito naman si Papi. Tignan natin, meron ba siyang dust off? Eto na yung Sentry Ward and Freezing Field. San Poon Caster. Diyos ko Lord, sabi ni Papi, bakit nag-TV pa kayo? Kaya ko na yun. <laughs> pero si MP ang natira, pero wait lang, eto na yung epic tender from Yapsor. Ang ganti ng api, nakasaan ko ang kuya mo. Pero si MP nag-survive pa, pero napaganong four stops. Coming from Bieber and instead nakakuha nila doon si Necropost. Pero si Dendy still will fall down. Eto na yung Barrow Strike, Ogre Magic, and Keeper of the Light is down. And si Bristol, baka na ang natitira. Looking at a buyback naman, may buyback si Temper Assassin. 
Pero ito na yung Boros Strike Ogre Magic. You have to buy back. Pero I think this might be too late. Ano pang magagawa mo, kuya? Ah, patay na. Itong si Bristol back. So they're gonna have to force buyback. Then they still have 20 seconds left. Pero buhay na. Si NP, another Boros Strike. Just close. Hindi na sila makakapag-defend. Ubus na ang heroes ng Navi. So they they might secure two sets of racks. Pero yung Ages of Immortal, wala na pala kay Shadow Queen. So... Baka isa lang ang makuha nila dito. Tingnan natin kung anong balak nila. Another Illuminate will hit to heroes plus yung Blinding Light. Might be delaying the damage. Pero syempre, they're gonna try and kill. Eto na, Navi. Tingnan natin kung may makukuha pa ba sila. Si Mid-1 gusto pang pumalag. Diyos ko, Lurs, nag-raise pa sa creeps ang kuya mo. Pero si Pygat, eto na yung Sprout blocking him. Sandstorm, meron bang detection? Diyos ko, Lurs. Dota 101, detection please. Yun lang ang masama doon. Sayang hindi. Wala silang dash. They could have even easily secured itong si Yaptor. Pero grabe ang kunat ni Yaptor. Meron pang bahanggan. Uy, grabe naman kayo kay Suneko. Minsan, minsan ganyan din yung support ko pag wala na talaga ako magawa. I mean, it's not his fault. I think it's just the draft in general. Kung baga, sobrang active lang talaga ng heroes ng Secret. And it takes time para sa heroes ng Nabi to go online. So, kumbaga yung laning pace na dapat sana ipanalo ni Ogre Magi did not work out as well kasi nga um, merong uh, Crystal Maiden din plus yung rotation ni Yaptor is just sobrang, sobrang clutch. He was bottom lane, he was top lane, he was everywhere. Kahit anong gawin mo, nandun lagi si Sun King. So, ito, 25 minutes into the game. Um, tingnan natin, baka hintayin ng Team Secret yung next Ages of Immortal. Ito, magre-respond na. In 8 seconds, just colored early respond pa yung Ages of Immortal. So, pumapabor pa sa Team Secret to. Pero ito na si Keeper of the Light. Tingnan natin, Sandstorm. Just colored sa ang punta, sir. Nandun na naman si Mid-1 to clean up the mess. Pero mukhang si Papi masesecure dito ni, uh, ni Dendi on Templar Assassin. So, naging support for support ang palitan doon. Pero ito na naman yung Rod of Ados na DTP out. Pero nandito na si Kizu to cancel it out. Plus, naka-color crest pa. Binigay na yung Albert. Tignan natin. Juice Colored. Kita mo naman si Kizu right breaking. Juice Colored. Ito, plus Reaper. Ang sakit, be. As a Brizzleback, you're just easily getting man down. Dahil dito sa, um, yun nga. Uh, hard stopper plus Kizu Knight Stalker doing damage just go learn plus binakapan pa ni Sun King it's like saan ka pa pupunta ano pang gusto mong gawin ko kumaga so ito um, I think nice pa sana hey. keep in mind na pwedeng pwedeng kunin ng team secret yan anytime soon I mean, kaya din naman nila kunin, pero medyo risky. Ito na si Papi, Juice Colors, bumabawi. Oy, pagiganti mo ako, mid-1. Ito na yung Prism Field. Plus that one uh, race coming from Shadow Fiend. Juice Colors, pinagiganti. Oy, Dendi, ha? papatayin mo ako. Ha? Kung may kakampi ako. <laughs> pero ito na yung Blinding Light plus Mana Leak. Medyo nakakinis nga naman yun as a um, Keeper of the Light. Pero ito, mukhang yung sisecure na lang nila itong range rack sa mid lane and ginatradition for a bottom rack naman in susunod. Mukhang hindi na nga rin nila kailangan ng Aegis Battle para dito sa pag-siege ng kanilang high ground. Napabayback na. Tignan natin. I think they're just forcing buyback and ito na nga. Ito na yung mana ni Kizu. Tignan natin. Just go lurch. Ito na yung rekeem coming from mid one. Medyo napabak ng konti yung Navi. But on the top lane, si Pycat with his um, niches or yung mga trend niya. It's split pushing dito sa tore ng secret. Pero grabe yung dami yung gold na pinagay, pinamigay naman kay mid one. And also kay Sunking at the same time. Yeah. Pero alam na Team Secret na nag-TP nga itong, um, I mean, alam lang na, na nag-TP yung Team Secret sa top lane. So, they could easily take itong Roche and with this Bloodlust, saka also Desolator din kay Temper Assassin. So, I don't think na alam to ng Team Secret since wala silang Observer Ward sa loob ng pit. 
napakaganda to. Um, they, they even may delay yung hag don't push ng Team Secret pero hindi mo alam yan. Kasi mukhang si General, tignan natin. Eto na, Yule Scepter coming from your Night Stalker, Juice Colored. Binigyan ni Halbert pero meron tayong Parochoy coming from Yaptor plus Rod of Ados. Na Silver Edge pa ang kuya mo and napasaklap na ang tanggap doon ni General. And then next naman na target is itong si Ogre Magi pero medyo na wrong target yata. Yahap sir, makaabag ba yung Boros Strike mo? Ito na yung nook damage pero hindi. Nakapag four stop na pag nang respond naman from um, Bieber on your Keeper of the Light and walang mana si Yahap sir dito. Ito na yung stun coming from the mana leak. Nakapatipin na rin si Nature's Prophet pero yung bottom lane napakadaming creeps and nasa top na rin siya at the same time. Diyos ko, Lurz, tumaob yung kabayo dun sa gitna. And instead, eto na, yung tier 3 tower sa gitna. Hindi na kailangan ng Chris. May backdoor protection pa yan, pero kailangan ng ipindutin. Uh, eto, glip of fortification. So, eto na, grabe, ang bilis na wala. Nasa, yung Aegis of Immortal, nasa Nabi. Pero ang sikit ang nag-stage na high ground. Diyos ko, Lurz. And wala man lang silang magawa without a Keeper of the Light. Hindi nila kayang i-depend itong kanilang high ground. Schoolers, ano na yung Sionic trap? Tignan natin kung may mahuhuli ba yung nabi dito sa bottom lane. Ano na yung Aloksan coming from Yaptor? Si General Juice Schoolers, Brazil back makunat ka ba? Pero mo kama babang mo 19 secret. In and out na nagiging palagan dito guys. Apa blink out na ang both teams. Then Poppy will blink in sa loob ng Sprout. Juice Schoolers, why? Pero ano na ang kanyang facing field? Rizal back, trying to man fight itong heroes ng Team Series sa backside naman. Medyo nagkaka-1v1 yan tayo. It's me, split push. Itong mga clips ni Nature's Prophet. Ito na another blinding light and kailangan nang mag-TP sa side ng circuit. And buntik pa yata ang mga kuha. Itong rocks, pero nandun na si Yaptor on Sanjing. But Kizu is on a mega cute streak already. 31 minutes into the game and sa engagement na yun, nakasecure ng 860 gold ang Team Secret tapos 2,900 naman sa experience. So yung Aegis of Immortal is na kay Templar Assassin pa rin. So ayan, na kay Dendi pa rin and he is waiting for his BKB. So malapit-lapit na, I think he's only 100 gold away. So with that, finally or hopefully, they might turn around sa engagement ng Team Secret. Pero grabe, ang hirap na mag-comeback nito. I mean, meron naman silang hero that deals with Mega Chris. Meron silang Keeper of the Light. Pero si Temper Assassin, hindi rin, I mean, he's decent, I guess. Clearing the wave. Pero si Ogre, medyo hindi gano. And si Bristleback, okay din naman. Si Nature's Prophet, hindi rin siya gano magaling mag-clear ng waves. Kung maga, it takes time. Hindi naman sa magaling, hindi mabilis. Ayun. So, isa na lang ang natitira dito sa, sa racks ng Navi, which is itong top lane and sinisecure na nga ng, na, ng team secret yan. Grabe, yung Navi may Aegis of Immortal, pero yung secret yung nag-siege niya kagad dito, hindi sila takot. Ito na si Dendi frontlining dito, pero napagalang two-man hitting itong Illuminate plus yung um, Fire Blast din kay Ogre Magi. So, tignan natin, with this Keeper of the Light already up, Tignan natin kung madedefend ba nila, pero nagbabakto rin sa Nagy's Prophet sa top lane, pero ito na nagkakwas na isang mabilis na Reaper side, pero hindi nila makakuha si Suneko on your Ogre Magi. Si mid one has no mana, so this is looking a little bit good to side the Navi. Another Illuminate na naman from your Keeper of the Light. MP taking some damage dito sa um, Templar Assassin, pero ito na nice sprout na si Yaptor, pero meron siyang Barrow Strike. Sa kanya yata binigay yung Cheese, kaya bumalik ang kanyang health and also um, mana at the same time, pero si Bieber, ito na Rod of Atos, hindi na nakalis ang kuya mo. Root is real, kumbaga, pero tinapalikuran lang siya ni Brizzleback. I think tinray yata mag-split push doon ni Nature's Prophet, pero may backdoor protection, and I don't think enough pa yung damage niya para makuha yon. Yung Aegis of Immortal siguro, hinihintay na lang ng secret mag-cooldown, and mas, ito nga, medyo nagko-cautious na sila ng mas Nam this time dahil nga may BKB na etong si Dendi and also si Nature's Prophet pero na is pa ni Kizu automatic cancel with the Yule Scepter and hindi na makapag split push pa etong si Paikat na kanina pa nagra-rat gaming sa side ng Team Secret So looking at um, item progression para sa 
Ito na nga, nag-expire na yung Aegis of Immortal Juice Coolers. Ito na yung Frostbite Facing Field. Magti-TP out ba? May pang TP. Juice Cooler, munti pang maawawoy mo. Grabe naman that damage. Kinabahan ako dun. Pero nga, may ispatan nila na Roshan is not up yet. And nag-expire na rin yung Aegis of Immortal kay Dendi. So, this might be the perfect opportunity para sa secret mag-siege ng high ground. And si Suneiko, eto na yung Yule Scepter mo. Pero now naan siya with the Fire Blast. Suneiko trying to hide on the trees. Mag-TP out. Hindi, merong noob damage. And dito si Papi with that Nova Frostbite. Ogre Magi. Unti-unti nang sinesecure. Pero si MP sa sasaw pa with his Reaper of the Side. Nag i-split push yung Ogre. 70 seconds left para mabuhay. Bago mabuhay at dito si Suneiko. Pero buhay na. Itong si Nature's Prophet. And mukhang umi-split push na agad siya dito sa top lane. Kito nyo guys. Kung hindi nyo napakapansin. Pero yung mga trayants niya is slowly chipping itong range rack sa Team Secret. Pero ito na yung freezing build coming from Papi. Doing some damage dito sa... Heroes ng Navi, pero I guess hindi na ika-cancel nila yan. Patuloy pa rin sa pag-right click dito si Med1. Naglagay na rin ng Observer Wards dito yung Team Secret. And Med1, trabaho lang, pero Glyph of Fortification, they had to pop it. Kasi itong ngayon, Tier 3 Tower is running really low and pa nila makukuha nila. Napakaganda ng blinding right. Ito, palap na yung stun. And si Fizzle Bang, biglang nawala. And that will force him to buy back. Defensive Yule Scepter yata coming from Kizu. And tignan natin kung mag-siege pa sila. Wala pa yung creeps dito ng Team Secret. So, meron pang backdoor protection itong Navi. They're gonna have to wait a little bit. Ito na yung Road of Addos kay Bendy. Pero walang follow-up. Eh, yung pala yung epicenter na force na pa. Sandstorm ang kuwi mo. Plus Reaper of the Tide. Keeper of the Light. Had to buy back to the game. Ito na natitirang rasa sa kanilang top lane. And mukhang mga may mega creeps na. Pero Navi will be calling it good game. Well played is called. And Team Secret will be going against... Sino ba nanalo ka hapon? Nakalimutan ko na. Pero one thing for sure, they'll moving sa ating upper bracket or semifinals. Nicely done. Ayan, tuwan-tuwa si Kuya Lo. Yay! Tapos na. 5.38 yung score, Diyos ko, Lourdes. Pero ayan, guys. Tapos na ang ating Summit 7 coverage. So... Do you guys anywhere go anywhere? Because we have a new galaxy, and that will be casted by Kuya Nick or Kuya Pau. But we have a casted by one best combo. Mama, the 10:15. What are you doing in the Philippines now? Oh, LGD. Pal, LGD. Pal, na lo. Parang natalo yata LGD. Ay hindi tama na nalo yung LGD, tinalo nila yung BP. Yes, yes, I remember. Thank you, thank you for that information, kuya. So, yun nga, it will be LGD versus Secret sa ating semifinals or upper bracket. So, ayan guys, tapos na ang aking coverage for the Summit 7. Maraming maraming salamat sa Dumalo. Nag-stay and naipagpuyatan dito sa Wombo X Combo. And I'll be heading out. Maraming maraming salamat. Shoutout sa lahat ng nanonood. Sa mga hindi pa nakapollow sa channel ko, just go to twitch.tv slash ishipizy and twitch.tv slash ishipizy. Type nyo exclamation.